Hey Bob, it's me today. I'm here and uh, I want to talk about things I just am annoyed about in Fortnite because why not? <laughs> So the first thing I want to talk about is the lag in this game. My god, I hate la the lag so much, and it just, just annoys me, alright? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? <laughs> because, if, if you look at the gameplay in the background, you notice there's lag, and usually, what would happen is that I will play a game beforehand, so the lag wouldn't happen whenever you join the game now, it lags. But now, when you record, it lags even more. Ain't nothing I can do about it, nothing I can do. I'm, I'm not buying a new computer. I I'll have a spare money for that. This game's laggy, alright? Now back in Season 3, Season 4, this game was fine. You know, the lag wasn't a big deal. You know, you could play a game from the get-go and everything's just smooth. Sure, you may have some glitches where you can, where you kinda fly into an area and it's just, there's nothing there. It's just, you know, the, the low poly textures or whatever it is. That, that still happens, you know, because of the lag. But, uh, the lag just still, it's getting, it's getting more intense, it's, it's getting more and more worse as the seasons progress. I think season 8, it's just, you just get this heat full of lag, and it's just, why can't they fix this lag? Well, it's not like they put so much crap in this game, that's just unbelievably just fills up the game, because back in season 3, season 4, it wasn't really much stuff. Sure, in season 4 it started to lag a little bit, but not to the point where it is now. And Kevin, Jordan, you both know what I'm talking about. The lag sometimes you just get out of randomness. It's not even like lag that you normally know, would see. It's just like up your game freezes, up you get froze, up your game crashed. One the game up a crashed. Literally, I was playing with Kevin a couple days ago, and he, he his game crashed while we're loading up a game, and his game his game crashed. I don't know why. It, it, just, it just crashed on him. I, I I can't explain it. It happened to me before. I try to play a game, it crashes. <laughs> There's nothing you do about it. Epic, please fix, but you won't. Rather would add some type of vehicle than than to fix your game. You don't care. You don't care. You just don't care. The second thing I want to talk about, the second thing, is Bloom. I hate Bloom. Again, in the gameplay footage, you can see, whenever I shoot someone, the bullets don't hit the people. Now you could say, oh, I suck at the game, but do I? Do I? Because I've had games where I just straight up annihilate someone with an AR, heavy AR, I guess three shot them, one of those being a headshot, I managed to snipe people from a long distance away, I managed to one, I managed to get a 14 kill game, do I suck? No, it's because of Bloom, it makes the game so luck based, now I'm not getting the whole argument whether this game is luck based or not, I'm not doing that, but, with Bloom, it, it's just, it's so annoying, because all you do, you just shoot someone, I'm shooting someone at point blank range, Man, they're just avoiding the bullets, they're not. What is what, what, what this? Are we, are we in the Matrix or something? There's some sort of bullcrap dumb that this is. <laughs> like, I I swear, I can just shoot at someone point point range and it'll just not hit them. It's like they have them, like, they're just anti magnets. I just shoot away from them. Oh, but I really love to remove Bloom. Imagine if this game, Fortnite, didn't have Bloom. Imagine if Fortnite didn't have Bloom. It would be so wonderful. It'll just. You'll just be able to just shoot at someone and they'll take damage. Just like how every video game works. Every video game has shoot a gun. Shoot, shoot, you know, so maybe it won't hit the player directly, but it'll be around the area, you know. But not, you know, many bullets. You know, whatever it may be. It won't be all of them. Only for one or two of them to hit. Then you die instantaneously. Because they shotgun you in the face. With a headshot. So, that's Bloom. Bloom right there. I really wish they got rid of it, but they're probably not, because that's a staple of the game. If they got rid of it, this game would be so much more better. You wanna know what else would be better? Headshots. Remove headshots, alright? Again, you may say, oh, don't do that. Whoa! I would love to remove headshots, right? It's so annoying when you're fighting someone and they just one shot you. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Just, I'm gonna do all the damn business. Up, oh, you die. When a shotgun fight up, you one shot me, you're dead. Now, I love to them to use nerf shotguns, but I don't think nerfing shotguns are a real case anymore. I think it's nerfing headshots. Because you have a pump shotgun, a golden pump, which in Team Rumble I find like every game. Like a purple pump, a, a golden pump. You just find them. Uh, like anywhere. They're just there. 
in Team Rumble a lot. The, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have these OP guns. The pump shotguns are the OP guns I've ever seen in any video game. It should not do over 200 damage. You do not have over 200 health. It doesn't matter whether you have shield or not, because everything's going to one-shot you. And the only time shield is useful is if you're getting attacked by an SMG. Like, that's literally- or a pistol. Like, those low damage guns. That's the only time where you really need shield. When you get, like, an AR, it could do over, like, 70 damage to the head. It's like, you're already dead. Like, <laughs> you know? Basically, you're below 40 health, so 30 health, you're dead, because everything's just gonna either one-shot you. There is no real protection. Now, the, the claim can be made while you build. Even building could be a pain in the ass, because you can be trapped in a build. Someone could a trap on you. You'll die. Sure, you could get out of it fast enough, but how many times can you do that? I mean, you probably do it once. That's about it. See many times you've actually gone out of a trap successfully by breaking it, if you're actually trapped. I would like to know, but going with the whole headshots, headshots really need to be removed. Because if Bloom is removed and headshots are removed, this game would be so much better. You wouldn't have insta-death, everything would be even, balanced. As once great Thanos said, everything should be balanced, the way it should be, something along those lines. But, I'm going to talk about the other things, now I'm going to talk about things that are specifically in Team Rumble, which I see a lot. Or, I guess, or even in games in general, I don't really know. But the first thing I'll talk about is the bazooka, and how you, if you get it, you're basically winning the game. And you can use the bazooka, the rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it, you can use it against builds, which is fine. But if you're in Team Rumble, and you get the bazooka, or a rocket launcher, and use it to kill people, eliminate them, you are a coward. You suck so much. <laughs> You should be playing this game. Go back to playing Roblox, where you are, you unfair piece of crap. Alright? Because it's not fair, it isn't fun dying by an explosion. Now I laugh whenever you die by an explosion, where you just, you, you rocket yourself in the face, because you're a dumbass, because you don't know what you're doing. You think you can get killed almost an explosion, that's not going to work. Now, I sometimes do it, and if other people are doing it, then I'll go the ham and blow up everyone, because that's what you're doing. But please, if you're in Team Rumble, because this is where I see it most, if you're in Team Rumble, don't use the rocket launcher to blow up people. Use it to blow up builds or houses or whatever where people are hiding. Because if they're hiding in a house, then you can blow them up, <laughs> basically. But just don't use the rock, because you're, you're, you're trash then. Even when I use the rock, the, the, the rock and launch, I don't use it to kill people intentionally, I use it to blow up builds. That's what it's supposed to be used for, we're using it to blow up people, because it one-shots people. It one-shots people. Not everyone has shield, because they keep on dying. You blow up one hit, they're dead. It's unfair. Don't know why, why does an epic game remove the rockets, remove all explosive explosive weapons, and the team out on the they must be getting, they must be getting complaints about this all the time. They must. Like, it, like, I wonder how many emails they get, how many messages on, on their forums or Reddit they get of just people saying to just remove the explosives in Team Rumble only. Not entirely from the game, just in Team Rumble or limited time modes. Because it's not fair to just constantly be blown up. And the one person you can't really kill them, unless you're really good at sniping, because you can't get near them, because they'll kill you before you can get near them. Now, the last thing I want to touch up on, basically, I think five things I talked about. Uh, is sniping. Now, this isn't really a big issue, because I think it's more of a general in-game, like in all game modes type thing, but if you ever had the, the a time when you play it and you get to run around, running along all peaceful and just hear BING! Or you just die by something, and you just get you just get scared, like you don't know where it came from. You start building a castle, and you don't know where that sniper bullet comes from. That's basically what sniping it's, and it's really annoying because you, you die out of nowhere. And all it takes is one good guy with good aim to aim at your head, and you just get one shot. Where's the fun in the game if you just die out of randomness? This is kind of a, a, a sex thing I just thought of. And it's kind of going along with this whole sniper thing about insta deaths. When you, have you ever joined a game and just died? Is that, is that something that happened to you where you get to join a game 
you land somewhere, let's say retail row, and you're trying to break down a roof, and you get insta-die, either by a sniper, or an AR, mostly sniper, sniper, if you get a sniper, you can just, you know, sink someone right there in there, because, you know, all the snipers do over 100 damage by the body, not a head, body, that's another thing, you, you, don't, you don't even need to aim for the head for the snipers, you just aim for the body and they die, which, <laughs> nerf snipers, but, I don't think that'll happen, because it's really difficult to shoot a sniper, so, but, whenever you join a game, land in a location, you just die. They really need to have an immune, immunity system where if you land somewhere, you can't take damage for like 10 seconds or whatever. Because that'll give you enough time to destroy the roof, go to a building, to grab a weapon. Or, well, is it, why can't you just have a default weapon? Because you've seen get certain game modes where you can actually jump out of the bus and have items. Like, I believe one of the game modes had like grapplers. Why don't you just have a, a default gun? I don't know what that default gun will be, I don't know, but it'll do about 10 damage. Basically a pickaxe at long range, or 20 damage. It'll be a pickaxe at long range, and uh, kind of a vertical shoot. But, those are two solutions I can think of to just stop the, the spawn killing. I'll take it spawn technically. Uh, technically, it's spawn killing. Technically, you know it technically isn't. I'm just saying technically, where you land somewhere and you just die. Like, if, if I was like, this is all you think about. If you're Ninja or Tifu, how do you survive that? You land somewhere, you die. Like, the second you land, like, the split second you land, you just get one shot. Like, what, 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 what are you supposed to do? I'm not, like, what, what, it just comes to me to get a hack line and just put it into the building on for the first 30 seconds of the game, so I can't die instantaneously. These guys, these try cards are just so annoying. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not making this video a rant video. I'm not, I really am not. I'm just gonna end this video now. I said what I wanted to say. Uh, so, I'm gonna go now. Uh, I'm not, I'm not trying to get myself angry, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, I hate this game so much. But, <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this video, then why don't you hit that like button and subscribe. See more content like this where I rage about uh, the same game over and over again. About same topics over and over again. Am I repetitive? Is it boring? Sure, why not? But, uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just gonna go now, so, uh, bye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living.